Hello YouTube. Here with another pipe video. Let's see. Yes. Today's video, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about a uh, fellow YouTuber I just met up with, as well as a new tobacco shop uh, I went to today, and some tobaccos I was gifted. So, well, well, the pipe smoker that I met up with was Tom, uh, Northwest Pipe Smoker. Uh, he and I are both from the Puget Sound area, and we met up today for a, a smoke. Great guy. Great guy. Very kind. Very good conversationalist. We hope to do a uh, video soon. We're going to get together, uh, I, I hope, more frequently. And uh, do a video of uh, that, those get-togethers for you guys to enjoy, hopefully. The next thing, oh, um, no, I'm kidding. Next thing is, um, I, I met him at a place called the Cargo Hold. It is a, I don't know, what would I call it? It's not specifically a tobacconist or a pipe shop or something like that, but They certainly have that. We're gonna go with him. It's a little pipe shop up uh, up in Paulsbo, Washington, and um, they sell a number of different things. Lots of nautical themed items, which you know I, I particularly love because my time in the Navy and, and I have that affinity now. I, I really enjoy that sort of thing. They had a lot of that. And then they had a great selection of pipes, great selection of tobacco, and uh, uh, the, the guy that was working there was fantastic, very friendly. He came out and smoked with me for a while, very friendly. He was another, he was a fellow motorcycle rider, as myself and Tom are, and uh, it was a great pleasure to meet him. I hope again to be able to enjoy, enjoy a few pipes with him in the future. Uh, let's see here. Again, great shop. If you ever have an opportunity, uh, call them up, order some tobacco, order, order something, you know, a pipe or a big, you know, model boat. They've got a, a lot of those. Today I'm smoking uh, recent, uh, recently acquired corn cob. This is actually the only corn cob I own, so that's pretty interesting. My last one I had disappeared to Missouri Mearsham, and I don't know where where it went. And in it I'm smoking a new tobacco. Let's see. When I met up with Tom. He just gotten a box of tobacco in from one of his, um, I assume, out of state buddies, and he, uh, he he shared a little bit of it with me, which I'm extremely grateful. Uh, what I'm smoking now is McClellan Dark Star. This is a fantastic looking tobacco, and I apologize, this video may be a little lengthy. I've got a few to go through. Fantastic looking tobacco. See, grab a piece of it out here. You see how dark that is? Oh man, and it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it through the through the monitor or phone or whatever you're watching it through. You know, I wish wish you guys could smell this as well. Cause man, it's smells fantastic. Tastes great. And there's something to it. Almost has like a little bit of a vinegar taste. I 
don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. McClellan Dark Star. I don't know what's in it. I'll have to do some research on what's in these tobaccos I've been gifted today. Uh, but I don't really. As long as it smokes well, who cares what's in it, right? Let's see what else. Uh, here we are. He also gave me a little bit of Rainier or Reiner Blend 71. This is a more of a typical Virginia style uh, flake in its look. Oh, don't want to lose any. You see that? I have not smoked it yet. I just got all these. I just met him, you know, two hours ago, so it hasn't been that long. I came home and you know I had to try some of this new stuff. He, he's up. Tom is a fellow motorcycle rider, which was uh, even better. Uh, you know, I love motorcycles. Truly really do. I'm afraid his is a bit faster than mine. It's okay. Mine's a Harley. It means big and slow and obnoxious. But it's all about uh, your personal taste, right? No, he's, he's definitely a cool person to talk to. <laughs> His bike definitely was faster than mine. Which I thought it was funny. This next one is called Hearth and Home, White Knight. Hearth and Home, White Knight. I don't know what's in here. It looks like some Virginias, maybe some Burleys, Cavendish. Mm, I don't know what that is. It's kind of... can't tell. I haven't tried it yet either. Let's see how it smells. Mmm, it's almost got a Latakia smell to it. Very smoky. Very delicious. I'm excited to try that. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this corn cob bite. Smoking pretty well. I'm a little concerned that I'm gonna bite through this, you know, tiny little uh, stem here soon, but whatever. All right, next one. It's called Hearth and Home Black Hollis. Maybe that's not a house. Black House. I gotta learn to read. Ooh, that one is delicious smelling. Oh. Another a lot of Kia smelling blend. I don't call them English blends because I don't know where that came from. I don't know that they're from England. I'm not sure that all English people smoke English blends. I think. Oh, my dog is out there harassing. Greta! Sorry. Harassing my neighbor. Anyways, I forgot where I was going. Oh well. The next one I've got here is called Magnum Opus. H and Q Marquee Magnum Opus. What does it look like here? Check that out. Give it a sniff. I should probably keep my pipe out of my mouth when I'm burying my face in it. Too. I'm excited to try that as well. Magnum Opus. What a what a good name. Great name. All right. 
Again, if you don't know who Pipe um, Northwest Pipe Smoker is, go to your search bar, type it in, subscribe to his videos. Great guy, very friendly, and he's a motorcycle rider. What else do you want? You got a great big bushy mustache. So, all right, that'll be the end of this video because it's 10 minutes, and I have more stuff to talk about. So I'll be making another one, posting it up here in just a second.